Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on the Whirlpool Duet front load washer. So if you have the E1 or F3 error code, more than likely it's your drain pump assembly. In this video, this is exactly what we're going to show you what to do or how to do. So first thing you want to do is remove these star bit screws. It takes a star bit, but you do not want to remove every single one of them. Just the ones that's holding the outer panel to the housing of the washer. So I recommend saving this screw towards the end. As you can see, I remove it before I remove the other one. And what happens is this panel kind of just falls down. So definitely remove all the other screws first and then the top one. This way this does not happen to you. Okay, now having the panel removed, we're gonna remove the holes from the drain pump. What you need is a small pair of pliers, like vice grips are good. This way you can squeeze the clamp and then the clamp will be held into place that, that way you can adjust the clamp backwards and let go of it as you can see here. Now having the clamp down you can just pull back on the hose to remove. And sorry for the sideways angle this was kind of a tight spot to get to but hopefully this video helps. So now we're going to remove the harness from the drain pump just press down on the clip and pull off. Okay, so you have four 516 bolts that have to be removed. I recommend a small adjustable wrench like this. This way you can get up under there with no problems. To remove these bolts, you'll turn counterclockwise. Here below is a picture of the pump, and this is exactly where all the holes are located. If you just look at the yellow circles, that's where each bolt is located. Now with all the bolts removed, we're going to remove the drain pump. So to remove the drain pump, you're just going to pull straight down. Just make sure not to turn on the side. More than likely, you will have water left over in the pump assembly. As you can see here, we do have water left over and we have a couple of bits from, I guess this guy does construction. So what happens, things get caught up in this uh, part of the pump and it will mess up your pump. Um, this is a new drain pump assembly. It's a OEM part. I will leave this in the description below if needed. So let's get started. So to install this pump, you have the four bolts. And they go one, two, three, and four. And this is your filter. You can take this out to clean it without removing the pump. And this way, this uh, helps the any types of items to not get to the propeller. So right here, you can see this is the gasket, and you just press this gasket up inside the outer tub. But when you press this up, just, just make sure your bolts or your holes with the pump are aligned with the outer holes of the outer tub, if that makes sense. So now having everything aligned, I'm going to make sure I just press straight up and evenly press straight up and line up the holes with the outer tub holes. That way I can install the bolts correctly. So as you can see here, I'm just wedging or pressing up. And as I press up, I'm trying to make sure everything is uh, evened. But don't worry about it if you don't get it all the way up at once. 
the once you tighten down the bolts, uh, this will press the pump up into the outer housing. I always like to hand tighten it first, so I can use like a magnetic bit, and this way I can just hand tighten it first. That way I know that I'm aligned, and then I'll just tighten this one up just a little bit more, and then I'll work my way around the machine, not basically going all the way up at once because then it won't be flush. So I'll just work this in a little bit, and then I'll just put another one on the other side and behind it and so forth. And then at the end, I'll just tighten them up evenly. That way I'm not sideways while I'm, while I'm installing my pump. So now having all my boats in halfway, I'm going to start snugging the boats down completely on each side. But I always do one side and then the other. That way I can make sure it's uh, still staying even. That way the gasket is not uh, flipped over to the side. Okay, so what I do at the end, I always go around to make sure all the bolts are flush with the outer housing of the tub. As you can see here, everything's nice and flush. And I just like to physically or check to make sure everything's nice and uh, even and flush. Okay, so don't forget to connect your harness to the drain pump assembly. So just click that back into place. And now we're going to connect the hose to the drain pump. So one thing I do like about these clamps, you can, like I said, it holds the, or the vice grip, it holds the clamps down. And then you can just slide it over the drain pump. And this way you don't have to worry about holding this. So you can press it in, let go, and then you can hold down on the hose as you release the vice grips. Okay, so with the new drain pump installed, we're going to place this into automatic diagnostic mode. So you'll press three buttons in sequence. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then if you have any error codes, it'll show. Wait a moment and press the spin cycle, like there, and then you hit the start button, and then it'll be automatic. So if you keep on, so say if you want to start it sooner and you press the button, it will not do it by you pressing the start button to move forward. As you'll see, I press it and nothing happens. Press, nothing happens. So you have to wait and it'll automatically go through each settings. So I think the first setting is the door lock and then 
the water and so forth. I do have a video that I will leave in the description below if you want to put this into diagnostic mode, but this is a good way to check the run the machine through a complete diagnosis and then to make sure that your pump is not uh, leaking or draining any water before you put the back panel back on. So like I stated earlier, just let this run its course. I believe the whole test mode goes to C9. You'll have the drain pump activate like right here. I believe it's activating. And this way you can see the pump work and make sure you have no leaks. If you do want to cancel this, just hit the power button and you will exit the diagnostic mode. So let's reinstall the back panel. Like I stated at the beginning of the video, I do recommend putting in the top screw first and then you'll work your way to the sides. However, before you install the first screw on the top here, make sure that you align the holes up with the housing of the washer first. This way you're not gonna be crooked or sideways and try to put the screws in on the side and they'll be, uh, I guess they'll be sideways and really won't go in that easy. So just make sure you line everything up before you put the top screw in and you can kind of just hold it with your shoulder and just make sure you have a bit ready to put in the top hole to hold everything into place. Okay, great. So everything's done. I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos.